Welcome to today's joyous celebration of God, with God, and as God in expression. I hope you're wearing something comfy to move around in because I think today's music will, at one point or another, be calling you to move and groove and join us in making a joyful noise.
my day with joy and I feel that sweet release. I start my day with love. I start my day with peace. I start my day with joy and I feel that sweet release. I start my day with love. I start my day with peace. I start my day with joy. there out there in love streaming land how are y'all doing today welcome to unity san diego i'm reverend edith washington woods senior minister here and reverend carla leitner our associate minister hello and we just want to warmly welcome you here for our sunday service or whenever you watch it let us start off with prayer let's pray God, the good, the indwelling presence that is everywhere, we give great thanks for our opportunity to worship with each other on this day. May we each be able to mm, enlarge our territory by supersizing our God, the good. We're so grateful for this this ability for us to join in this way. We're so grateful for all of you who are come today. And so it is. Amen. And if you could say our affirmation with us, let's say it together. Guided, Guided by, by infinite, infinite wisdom and, and prospered by divine love, we move forward in unity, unity to realize our spiritual potential. potential. And again, I'd like to welcome all of you out here, any of you who are just joining, just so grateful for you to be here today. And we have a vision statement that really is bigger than anything we could imagine for ourselves at Unity San Diego, but with you, we can see it possible. So let's say it together. We are world powerfully transformed through the growing movement of shared spiritual awakening. And our mission statement, that's who we know ourselves to be here at Unity San Diego. And many of you already know that just by listening to our inspirational music. But we are going to affirm our mission statement together. Together, we are empowering personal growth through positive spiritual principles, inspirational music, and community service. And our opening hymn is God is my source. Words and Music by Karen Drucker. This is a dancing one, so you might want to dance a little bit if you shake your hands or something. Oh, one, two, three.
gives me everything I need. So I give thanks for all my blessings. God gives me everything I need. God is my source. God does give us everything we need. And now it's time for us to place a greeting in our chat box and say it to each other, especially if you're a family in your own home. And here's what we're going to say and write. I am grateful God is the source in you and me. I am grateful God is the source in you and me. I am grateful God is the source in you and me. I am grateful God is the source in you and me. Yes. That felt good. That did feel good, yeah. didn't it? Oh, yes. God is the source mm -hmm. and the power. Yes. And now it's time for our announcements. Um, the first one is I'm conduct uh, right now we're in the midst of a, a book study. And for this new year, and the title of it is More Than Alone. Oh, it's over there. I'll show you later. More Together Than Alone by Mark Nepo. And it's on Mondays, every Monday from 6.30 to 8 p.m. Pacific time zone on Zoom. If you'd like the link, just email Monica, our office assistant, at unitysandiego at gmail.com, and she will give you the link. If you haven't read it, it's okay, we jump right in and dive in and we're going deeper together. So the next announcement is for the four agreements. Now our spiritual recovery group is doing this book study, but you don't have to be in recovery to come to our four agreements book study, Thursday nights at seven. In fact, we had three new people this week. Unless of course you're in recovery from taking things personally because that's what we're working on. Don't take things personally. We're doing an intensive study. We're in week two on that agreement. So please join us Thursdays at 7. You can contact me, Rev. Carla Leitner, at gmail.com, and I'll send you the Zoom link. So, so hope to see you there. And our last announcement for today is um, for those who are voting members, you know who you are. On next Saturday the 13th, we're having a town hall training that's going to train us on how we need to be inside of our online annual meeting. Now the online man annual meeting is gonna be Sunday, February 21st at 1230 Pacific time. So any of you who, you may have already gotten, you, well, you should have already gotten an email from, um, from Monica at unitysandiego.org. No, not that. Unitysandiego at gmail.com. That way. Yeah. And you should have already gotten a packet of most of the information. We'll be sending another packet out this week with all reports and um, last year's annual meeting minutes. So if you didn't get it and you're a voting member, please let us know immediately so we can get you that information. Those who don't have email, you should have gotten it by now in your mail, in your regular USPS mail. Um, it's important that you come to the town hall training. I know some of you are working or have something else already planned for the 13th, so we are recording it. So if you need that recording, again, you'll have to let us know so that we can get it to you um, within before that week is up, of the third, of starting the 15th. So again, let us know. We want to make sure as many of you as possible come. We're having a big bylaws vote. So it's super important for y'all to be there. And it's good because we're going to learn how to vote and so that our vote will count. It's what, so different online. But I thought online. we already knew how to vote. Well, I know how to vote a different way, but I don't know how to vote online. Yeah, and it's so different. I need to learn how to do that because 
You know, I need to make sure that it's my vote and my vote counts yes. and that I do it the correct way. And one of the things I just want to mention, since uh, Reverend Carla mentioned that, is every person that comes in, it's one vote per little rectangle. So if you're a couple or you live in the same household, um, you're going to have to come in on a smartphone or a different computer or uh, a tablet in order to have each vote count. Now, for those who are not voting members or just people who want to come and, and listen or watch, we will be having it live streamed either on our Facebook page or our YouTube page, um, whichever one, I don't know which one, but we're working. Facebook, it'll be on Facebook Live. So you'll be able to watch it in real time. You just won't be able to vote or anything. Okay. And if you have a flip phone or something like that, we are going to have some people here to help you. So just let us know. Yep. So that's as much as we're going to give you because next Saturday is a training. Okay. Now I invite you to just let go of everything. Sit back. Relax. And listen to our meditation song today, A Word of Praise, Words and Music by Daniel Namod. Every breath I breathe be sacred. I invite you to take a gentle breath and let every breath we breathe be sacred. Relaxing, releasing. 
letting go and letting God. Let every breath we breathe be sacred. And in this moment, I invite you to consider your breath and how easily and effortlessly it goes in and out of your your mouth, your body, your pores. And consider how the breath moves throughout our entire body without any effort by us. Perhaps it is the breath of God. Perhaps it is that which is bigger than anything we can imagine. And as we contemplate how this breath moves through us, I want you to also consider that in this moment, we can supersize our God. Supersize it by claiming it, naming it, knowing it for ourselves. And as we take a moment to pause, then we say these words to ourselves. I am created as the image and likeness of God. I am created as the image and likeness of God. I am created as the image and likeness of God. In the silence, we join our hearts and minds together and go deeper as one. created I am created in the image I am created in the image and likeness of God allow these words to deeply resonate within you I am created in the image and likeness of God. And in this expanded state of awareness, we bring into our hearts and minds all who we love and care about, all hmm, who may have completed this life journey, all 
in our wonderful country and all who are in the world, everything, everything. And in this moment, we're so, so grateful. And so it is. Amen. And now we have the Lord's Prayer. my turn but we got to do an instrument change so uh ron fill time <laughs> <laughs> just throw it to me pj thank you uh well you're in for, for before we start i just want to thank erin who did a wonderful solo last week thank you erin that was just gorgeous uh but she's gonna play keyboard for this this one and i didn't know that was one of her special skills but she's gonna be covering the string parts so when you hear them come in that's erin where you can't see her because she's over here in front of me because uh, we're practicing social distancing and we wanted her to be able to use my amp so that's where Aaron is this morning I think we're ready good because okay. I was done talking Do it. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, my wife and I took our toddler to the mountains this week for a couple few days just to get away change the scenery and um, it wasn't snowing while we were there but last week they had a major snowstorm and there's so many trees that even though it warmed up a little bit into the low 50s none of the snow melted so there was a couple few feet of snow and as you can imagine it's just gorgeous um, and this song is God you are and it's just about God being everything and everywhere so I had a special moment of several special moments this week just kind of looking out at this beautiful mountain snowy scenery feeling spirit feeling source feeling God uh, everywhere and I hope that maybe uh, if you do nothing else today you can take just a couple moments to uh, look around you and see the beauty and see God everywhere
sunrise, God, you are. Every moon glow, God, you are. Every star shine, every inch of earth and sky, God, you are. Every springtime, God, you are. Every snowfall, God, you are. with a story and this story I took out of the chicken soup for the soul and it's named the title of it is through a child's eyes and it's written by Dee Dee Robinson so one day there was an old man which is represented by Reverend Carla sitting in a rocker day after day. Fixated in his chair, he promised not to remove himself from this spot until he found something. I won't tell you what yet. But on one fine spring green day, the old man rocking in his chair was relentless in what he was looking for. And there was a young girl, played by myself, running across the street and this little girl had a ball, and the ball went into the old man's yard. She ran to pick it up, and, and she saw this old man sitting there, and she says to him, Mr. Old Man, I see you every day rocking in your chair and staring off into nothing. What is it that you are looking for? Oh, my dear child, you're yet too young to understand. Maybe, but my mama always told me if I had something in my head I should talk about, I should talk about it. She says to get a better understanding. My mama always says, Miss Lizzie, share your thoughts. Share, 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 my mama always says. Oh, well, Miss Lizzie, child, I don't think you could help me. Possibly not, Mr. Old Man, but maybe I can help your listening just by listening. All right, Miss Lizzie, child, I'll tell you. I'm looking for God. With all due respect, Mr. Old Man, sir, you rock back and forth in that chair day after day in search of God? Why, yes, I need to believe in God before my death. I need to have a sign, and yet I still haven't seen one. A sign? A sign? I'm confused. 
why would you need to find a sign? Hmm. Well, well, don't you know that there are signs everywhere, Mr. Old Man? There, there are. are signs in the fresh flowers that we smell. Yeah. Hmm. There are signs in the birds singing in the air. Hmm. It is like that for each of us, no matter what it is that we are growing through. God is always there. Now, in the revealing word our, by Charles Fulmar, co-founder of Unity, he talks about strength. And strength is real important here in what we're talking about. Strength is the energy of God. It is freedom from weakness. But in our story, it seems like this little old man had some challenges wanting to be free. So it goes on to talk about in this, um, in this little story that God gives us a sign with people laughing. Laughing out loud. You know, you ever get that good belly laugh? <laughs> right? And those of you who have a bigger belly, if you can really like blow it all up then. Yeah, how much fun is that? And if you have a little tiny tummy, then you just do it and help your six pack or something. <laughs> but then she goes on to say that God gives us a sign when we're crying. That right there, as the tears roll from our eyes, she says, it is a sign in your heart to hug and to love. That's why it's been so much of a challenge, I believe, these days for this past 11 months almost, is that we're not able to give many of our loved ones that real hug, right? We have to learn how to give air hugs and virtual hugs and, you know, put hugs in parentheses and all kinds of things to demonstrate here's a hug. But it's in these times, this little Lizzie says, that God is there. Hmm. Yeah. She says it's also in the wind and the rainbows and all the changing of the seasons. We've all experienced some of that just in this last couple weeks. It is those things. Now, in our Bible verse, which comes from Isaiah chapter uh, 40, verse 31, it states, <clears throat> Those who wait for the Lord shall renew their strength. I'm wondering if, if that's like that for the little old man. They shall mount up with wings like eagles. They shall run and not be weary. They shall walk and not faint. I wonder if it's like that for the little old man. You see, the little girl went on to say to him, Mr. Old Man, sir, God is in you and God is in me. That is the truth. And how do we find God when we, we're looking for something out there? Well, in another book by, Dan, uh, by Mark Napo called The Endless Practice, he says, we must find our way back to an innate sense of God. That is the indwelling presence that is within us. That is us realizing that we really are created in the image and likeness of God. And what that means is that we have more than we can imagine. And we can supersize our God the good. So I know you're wondering, why are we looking at this? Why are we looking at this, this story about this kid and this old man? 
Because when we, we want to supersize our God because it is Super Bowl Sunday. And, and what are people doing right now, right? They, they have this, this, everything is big. We have big teams that are playing today, two of them. We have big NFL stadiums. Well, they can't be filled up right now, just a fraction of the numbers of people. But it's big. And we have big Zuzus and Wham Whams. Now, I know some of you might remember, and if you don't, and those of you who don't know, what is a Zuzu and Wham Wham? It is what I created for my children when they were little kids for the salty and the sweet. So on a Super Bowl Sunday, for instance, we would have a whole lot of sweet stuff. You name it. You think about, like, the sweet stuff you like. And then we would have a whole bunch of salty, crunchy type of stuff. The Zuzus and Wham Whams. So my children would say, hey, Mom, we got to go to the store and prepare for Super Bowl Sunday. Let's get some Super Bowl chips. Let's get some super-sized McDonald's or whatever fast food thing. But I wasn't going for that. We're just going to supersize it at home, right? Get super-sized bags of things. But we're wondering, how big do we need to go? How big did this, this old man had to go in order to find his God? Well, God is omnipotent, omniscient, and omnipresent, which means God is like having qualities. But when we move to a supersized God, we actually transform those words that we've known, many of us have known, to omnipotence, omniscience, and omnipresence, which means God is then all-knowing, all-power, and everywhere presence. That means that God is now being, like being within us, and being everywhere. God is unlimited. God is unchanging and unbiased. So that part of us that is the image and likeness of God never changes. Yes, our body goes through the changes it goes through and grows through in order for us to transform from a having kind of thing, like I'm going to have God right now, to actually being it, to actually living it, to actually having it, it walk with us and talk with us and breathe with us. For we are the breath of God. So when we are supersizing our God, then we're making it bigger than anything, anything that we can see, anything that we don't see, that we're able to really take it on, like, this, if this is who I am, if this is who I am being, then this is who I am being responsible taking on being responsible in our lives, for our lives, and for our fellow people around us. That if I really want to, to accept myself and want you to accept me, then I have to be willing to give it right back, no matter who it is. And sometimes, guys, it can be super hard, or it seems like it anyway, like, how could I possibly see that in the person that I disagree with? Then we can take on agreeing to disagree. You know, our, one of our um, well-known authors and minister in unity, Eric Butterworth, he said that God is a circle whose center is everywhere and circumference nowhere. That means it's like big. That means it's like super-sized. 
So as we're growing through these things that we grow through, we become willing to learn and know that there is this indwelling presence within us. And we no longer, like the old man, have to wait on the Lord. Now from this book, here's our book. I promised I'd show it to you. Our book, More Together Than Alone, that we're studying right now. Mark Nepo said that uh, when we have meaningful knowledge, that it is free and learning is its own reward. So as we learn and know the truth of who we are, we learn that it's our own reward to know that there is a presence that is indwelling within us. No matter what we are going through in our finite body, that there is this precious essence that is unchanging, has never changed, and will never change. That is the presence of God within us. And we get to accept that for our own self. And Mark Napo goes on to say that when we do this, in the more typical formation of community, alignment, and a light, a light allegiance to a shared set of values is required. So what I believe happened with the dialogue with little Miss Lizzie and the old man is they became aligned with a shared set of values that she was able to say to him, wait a minute, it's not just out there, it's actually in here. And he was able to, to take that on. That in the more typical formation of community, which we're all in, that alignment and allegiance to a shared set of values is required. So guess what? It is required for each of us to know that there is a presence within us and just be okay with it. Because really, folks, you can't do nothing about it anyway. To just be okay that there is a presence that permeates everything, that is infused and flowing as everything in the music we hear, the dances we dance, in the books we read, the cars we drive, the buses we ride, the ground, the earth, the everything, that it, we are infused with the Spirit of God. And that if your God is not big enough, then supersize your God the good. And when we know that, we get to know also that when we supersize God the good, that we're able to know that it is a, a big, bright light. And it's glowing and flowing through each of us. Are you willing to let your light shine? In order for us to do this, we do have to have a little bit of strength. And strength happens to be the spiritual power we have of this month of February, the whole month. And the disciple that's represented is Andrew. The color is light green. And the location is the small of the back. So if you think about your back, right? And in order for us to be upright, we have to have a strong back. And sometimes we can make it stronger by doing ab crunches and stuff. But a back nonetheless that helps us to stand up, upright. And strength comes from overcoming the things you thought you couldn't. So the old man, he was able to gain some strength through the eyes of a child. Yeah. How about us? How about us? He couldn't see God. He was like an amazing grace. I was blind and I could not see. 
he was able to start seeing through the eyes of a child. I think that's why, um, you know, the notion in the Bible where it talks about we must return to being like children. Because their innocence is there. They can see those things without any of the filters that we have on. And now, this old man in his rocking chair is able to see and supersize God the good. Perhaps we can. Are you willing to look bigger than our own circumstance? And why can't I have this? And why can't I have that? To looking at how I do have. How am I being with another person? Who am I reaching out to? That even when we have these face coverings on, I don't know what I did. Oh, here it is. This lovely face covering that we can look at each other's eyes and do a little smize thing that Tyra Banks says. You know, you put it on and you're smiling, but your eyes are really smiling too. It just takes that or anything that we could consider. So for our week, I invite you to look at that. How can I see God in everything? What is it that I need to do in order to be that, the beingness of God within me? And our affirmation will assist us with getting there. And I'll read it once and <clears throat> say it once, and then I'll have us say it together. It is, I am supersizing God the good in you and me. Together, I am supersizing God the good in you and me. Again, I am supersizing God the good in you and me. Now let's just take that in for a moment. And imagine for a moment that God is in everything we see. God is in the flowers. God is in the birds. God is in the laughter. God is in the smiles. God is in the cries. God is in everything. In everything. The sun, the ocean, the moon. And God is within each of us. Just take that in and say, God is within me. God is in, within me. God is within me. And then open your eyes and let's say this affirmation one more time together. I am, I am supersizing, supersizing God, God the good, good in you and me. me. And so it is. And so we allow it to be us. Amen. And now we have This is the Day by Aaron McGowan. And this is another dancer. It is. So Aaron's going to sing it through once for us and then uh, sing along.
surprise everybody. Go, let's go up a half step. Wow. <laughs> I Without just got me a words. big gulp of God. <laughs> yeah. Mm-hmm. Hey. Ah, next week's lesson is with me. Creating community. February 14th, Valentine's Day. We have a special surprise. Also, right, Ron? So it's going to be a beautiful, beautiful Sunday. Please join us at 10 a.m. Now is our time of giving and receiving. And we have a basket here that represents what we would be passing if you were here in our sanctuary. But since you are online, you can go to our website and simply click on the donate button wherever you're watching. We have PayPal. You can use your credit card or a debit card. Or you can mail a check in. The address there is on the screen. So let's now take our love offering in our hands, or if you don't have it, I'm gonna grab mine here. If you don't have it, a love offering, then just place your hand over your heart and give us some love. And let's say the affirmation that's on the screen twice out loud and once in the silence. Together with me, please. I am one with God's gifts. They overflow and enrich my life. I bless the gifts and share from infinite good. And again, I am one with God's gifts. They overflow and enrich my life. I bless the gifts and share from infinite good. Just take a moment to say that in the silence of our hearts. And as we breathe in infinite good, we know that we are blessed to be able to give our gifts where we are spiritually fed here at Unity San Diego. Thank you, thank you. And so it is. Amen. Mm, God makes me want to sing. What is there to say about this song? I've prepared a tight 10, so uh, sit back and relax. I'm going to explain. That's a joke. You can laugh, people. <laughs> Thank you, Diana. Uh, actually, I really don't have anything to say, um, except it's another Daniel Neymar tune, and uh, I think uh, he's one of my favorites, certainly, and I think probably for everybody else here, so uh, I think we should just kick it. And this is another one. Get up and dance with us. Mm-hmm. Can't help it. God makes me want to sing. God makes me want to sing Makes me feel so good I can do most anything I am loving Every loving thing I can see the face of God In poppers and kings We're all precious So unless or more We've all got the same treasure in store That's why I'm loving Every living thing Ooh, yeah I can't help it God makes me want to sing God in life No matter what comes It always turns out right To dig down deep To how I feel Take a deep breath And drag out the wheel Cause I'm believing In my God in life I can't help it God makes me want to sing
smile upon my face. Looking good. <laughs> Living my dream a little more each day. Keeps me getting easier to find my way. So I am rising to my higher place. Can't help it. God makes me want to sing. Can't help it. God makes me want to sing. our offering, Reverend oh, Eden. Cool. You ready? Okay. I'm out of breath. I'm dancing. <laughs> it's dancing for God, you know. That's, that's the best dance to have. Oh, so, what does Mahatma Gandhi has to say about us dancing? Here's what he says. Be the change in which you wish to see in the world. Yeah, dance in church. It's, it's all good. There you go. Yep, why not? Wakes us up. So we're just going to take our tithes and love offerings into our hands, into our hearts, in whatever way you have given, and just hold these words in our prayers as our own. God, as we supersize God the good, we're so grateful for this opportunity for, know, for us to know that God is real. For us to know that we each have all that we need and all that we want. And when we don't, that there's someone that is willing to give of themselves to meet the needs for all. We're so grateful for this blessing and the many blessings that we have and are. And so it is. And what a beautiful circle of joy of giving, of loving, as we give, so do we receive, not just financially, but love, friendship, peace. What a beautiful, beautiful time this is. What a beautiful world if we just look for the beauty. We say thank you, thank you so much, God. And so, so it, is. it is. Amen. Amen. Well, Unity's foundation is prayer. And here at Unity San Diego, we are always praying. We have our prayer ministry that a live person will actually answer the phone Monday through Friday from 12 noon to 5 p.m. Their number's on the screen, so give them a call. And if you want to call any time of day and leave a message, they will get back to you. They hold your prayer in confidence for 30 and pray over it for 30 days. It's a wonderful thing to be able to share a prayer with another human being. Same with Silent Unity. Silent Unity is available 24 hours a day, every single day of the year. 
They too will pray with you. They will hold your prayer in confidence, and they will pray on your prayer for 30 days. What a blessing that is. We also have prayer chaplains. Our prayer chaplains are continuously holding you in prayer. We know every word is a prayer. We're always praying, aren't we? And prayer most definitely works. Please take advantage of calling our prayer ministry in silent unity as well. Well, I invite you now, friends, to join us to sing More Than Enough by Daniel Namad. protection together. The, the light, light of God, God surrounds us. The love of God enfolds us. The power of God protects us. And the presence of God watches over us. Wherever we are, God is. Have a wonderful week. You already found God is within you and me. Have a wonderful week, everybody. Bye-bye. Namaste. Namaste.